Hey everyone, this is Living Dead Gal and welcome back to another Sims 4 video. This is a bit of a different video today because this is actually going to cover a mod. It's called the Band-Aid mod that may help you if you are a CC user who is running into issues with the new high school years pack where you're experiencing what everyone is referring to as the Groundhog Day glitch. So if you're not experiencing this issue yet, but you are a CC user, you are someone who downloads new CC regularly, you still might want to take note of this. Basically what is happening in people's games is they are saving, they are exiting the game, everything seems fine, and then when they load back in, um, the game has actually set back in time um, from when they last opened it, I guess. So it's the end, people end up getting stuck playing the same day because they're not able to save their progress. Now, one thing that some people are saying has helped some of them is using the save as feature. So instead of just saving your game, if you do save as and create a new file, that seems to work. Now, um, a user had kind of found this issue, this mod creator, Lara De Tu, I hope I'm saying that correctly, <laughs> um, they have kind of found an issue that may be CC related. Now, this may not always fix it in every case. They are saying that there's likely multiple uh, reasons for this Groundhog Day glitch, but what they are saying could be happening is that new CC that is tagged to work with Trendy, it gets this new fashion rarity tag, could actually be causing the game to break and not save properly because Trendy can't actually handle the size of the file. I think it's something like it's meant to only handle 32, but it can only handle 64. I'm not saying that right. I don't like speak in code, but basically CC pieces aren't being supported by this trendy app, which comes with the new high school years pack. So when you add CC to your game that has this tag, it's causing an issue. So you could go through Sims 4 Studio and manually go through every single piece of your CC and make sure it doesn't have this tag. However, this wonderful, wonderful creator has created a mod that will actually help you find these items that you don't have to go through every single piece of CC because if you are a CC hoarder like me, um, it's a lot. <laughs> and I have not experienced the Groundhog Day glitch yet, but I did just do a massive CC haul. And so I am gonna go ahead and run this as a precaution. Um, I wanna make sure I have this mod in my game so that I don't have any issues. And since I did actually just post that CC haul for you all to download, Download CC. I wanted to make sure that I did just a quick video uh, tutorial on it so you have access to this fix as well. Again, disclaimer, this may not always fix the issue. Sometimes people are getting error code 532 when this happens and it says that it can't save. Other times people are closing their game and not realizing it hasn't saved until they load back in. So it may or may not work. I mean, they even say on their post, note that the Groundhog Day bug is very likely caused by more than one underlying issue. Um, but hopefully this can help with some cases, at least so that you can still keep your CC in your game. Um, so basically they have created a mod that will pull up this pop-up and tell you there is a trendy error. It says you have CC that was tagged to be available in trendy. Unfortunately, this is not supported and will cause this error code and prevent your game from saving. So there's also, when you do that, this will find it for you, but then you still actually have to go in and manually fix the CC. So we're gonna go over how to do that today, but I'm gonna show you, you would just download this zip file. If you're not familiar with Patreon, you go to their page. I'll put a link to this in the video description. But you're gonna download this zip file and you're gonna wanna drop it in your mods folder. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick and then I'm gonna boot up my game. Okay guys, so I just dropped one of my Sims in here. We're actually gonna be starting a new game because I think that'll be the easiest way to determine if there's anything. So hopefully once I start the new game, I should get a pop-up if there's any CC that is broken. Okay, and pretty much uh, seconds within loading, I have of course gotten the trendy error. You have CC that was tagged to be available in trendy. Unfortunately, this is not supported at the moment and will cause error code 532 and prevent your game from saving. A text file has been created in the same folder as the mod named invalid cast part IDs text, listing all of the cast part IDs that would have been selected. You can use the resource find console command in Zimsource Studio to help find the packages that correspond to each ID and remove the CC or remove the tags if you know how. Note that only the CC that was selected for this session of Trendy will show up in the list. This means that you may see this notification more than once until all the CC has been found and removed. 
for more help, please join the Sims After Dark server. And then it's got links to how to open the text file, how to find cast parts and Sims After Dark. So actually I'm gonna click open the text file. Okay, so when I clicked that little button, it pulled up this notepad document and it gave me the ID for the piece of CC that is throwing the air. Fortunately, it's only one piece. Um, lucky for me, I only have like some new pieces of CC in my game from a recent haul. Everything else I have is from a while ago, so fortunately it's just this one, but we'll have to see as I continue to play the game. Um, if you have merged CC, this might be a little bit more difficult. Most of my CC is usually merged, but fortunately right now, um, everything that's pulling from my haul is just one. So I'm thinking that's what it's gonna pull up, but we're gonna do a quick search in Sims 4 Studio. So there is actually a blog that's um, the mod creator linked here that actually tells you how to find a specific resource. So when we pull up Sims 4 Studio, we're gonna hit Control Shift C, just like we would when we do the cheat consoles in the game. And we are going to enter this code, resource.find. And then I'm going to do a space and then I'm going to put the code of the item that was found by the mod in there and I'm going to click OK. And I think this is going to take a bit, this might take a minute or two to actually find anything. OK, so it did find the items, yes, and it looks like what it found did actually come directly from my CC haul. So I'm going to actually need to locate that specific item. So I'm going to click on my project projects and then I'm going to navigate to that file folder. So once I've navigated to the file folder, um, I'm going to select the item that's throwing the issues and I know it's the sweatpants. So I'm going to click on those and then this will open it up like this. So this is where you can edit lots of things, but we're going to click on the warehouse tab. In the mod instructions, it says we need to find and locate the cast part tuning that we want to edit. So what you can do, you need to edit only the cast part is I'm going to actually just filter it by a search and type cast part. So I'm going to have to do it for all of these different swatches. So now that I've filtered by all of the cast parts, what I'm going to need to do is find the tag section. So when you first open it up, it's going to show you all of this different stuff. Um, you want to scroll. It's close to the bottom for me with this version of Sims 4 Studio. So I'm going to click tags and then edit items. And then I need to find this fashion, fashion, rarity, rare. This is the tag that we want to remove. So I'm going to click remove and I'm going to click save. I now need to do that for every single swatch because as you can see, it's on every single swatch. So I'm going to want to make sure that I remove it and save. A few moments later. Okay, so I have now done that for all of the cast parts. So I'm going to actually click save and this will save the package file to overwrite what's in there. So what I would probably recommend doing just to be safe is before you do this, I would make a backup of your CC because you never know, you could hit the wrong button, you could mess something up and you could mess up your CC file. Um, if it's newer CC, you can go re-download it. But for me, whenever I mess with anything that I, I'm not a mod creator, I'm not a CC creator. So whenever I mess with stuff like this, I always like to make a backup just in case the original file, the original download link disappears one day and I mess up or lose a piece of CC for good. So I would make a backup before you do this. I didn't because I know exactly where to download this. It's brand new, but normally I would do that. Um, so I'm going to save it and everything should be good to go. So real quick, I'm just going to open the game back up and see if this happens again, just to see if like this file is fully fixed. Okay, guys, I have loaded back in with my Sim. She changed her outfit because it's chilly outside. That's fine, um, but we do not have the orange error now, so I'm very, very happy about that. Now, again, as the mod creator said, you are likely going to get that error a couple times. You'll probably get it with new saves. My guess is that it's gonna pull different items for the Trendy app. I'm not really quite sure how it all functions, but keep the mod in your game. Um, be cognizant of looking for that tag. If you download new CC, you can preemptively go ahead in Sims 4 Studio and check it if you'd like. Um, I believe CC creators are aware of this and they are removing the tags now too. So hopefully, hopefully, hopefully this will help if you are running into the Groundhog Day issue in your game. Now, if you have your CC merged like me, 
What I would recommend you do is unmerge it, pop it in your game, and run the test that way. That is likely what I am going to do uh, going forward. Just if I, if I start having this issue with the Groundhog Day, I'm probably going to go ahead and do that. Right now I think I'm okay because all my CC is older from before this tag would have been added. But if you have newer stuff that's come out since high school years was released and it's merged, I would recommend you unmerge it and run it. It's still possible to edit the merge file, but it's probably going to be a lot harder to locate the CC. So that's just what I would recommend that you do. If this video was helpful to you, please just do hit that thumbs up button. Um, thank you so much for watching and I hope that this will benefit you guys who are having this issue with your game. Again, I know it won't fix everything. I'm not sure if anyone who plays vanilla or on console is running into this issue, but um, hopefully for those of us who are using a lot of CC, this can help. So thank you again, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.